This is a short demonstration on how to use the referencing tool in Word. First open up Microsoft Word and click on the References tab at the top of the screen. Then click on Manage Sources. Notice on the left there's a master list. This will include all the titles you've added to Word and will be available for each new document that you create. You can click copy to move a stored source over to your current list for the document that you're working on. So you copy these all across. Okay. Click on new. This opens up a create source box with fields which enables you to enter all the information needed to create your reference. Put a tick in show all bibliography fields, which then expands the number of fields and puts an asterisk by the recommended fields here. The type of source is shown and the top choice is book. There are many others and by scrolling down you can see what they are and by clicking on them, you can see that the fields vary according to the type. Let's go back to book, which is the top choice. Enter the information for the source you have. Notice that there is an example when you click into each field to remind you how to enter the information. So first of all, for the author, And then this is the title. And the year. The city, this is the place of publication. And the publisher. If you scroll down, there is an area to insert the edition if necessary if it is later than a first edition this is the ninth okay once all the information has been entered you can click on close okay and close let's go back to manage sources if you click on any of the sources that you have, you can then click on edit, make any changes you need to, and OK, and this will update both lists. Click on close. Notice that the style default setting is APA, which is very similar to Harvard referencing, which is used at Croydon College. You can insert citation, which is useful for adding to your text. You can choose the required author from those that you, you have available from the list of your entered sources. So if we go down to a piece of text, insert citation, and let's choose the top one. There we are, and you just need to add a, a full stop. When you're ready to insert your final bibliography list, you can click on Bibliography and Insert Bibliography. You just need to add a heading here for Bibliography. And here we are in alphabetical order is the list. You just now need to check that the information is as Harvard referencing that you need to use. And we can just highlight these. There we are. Save your document and all sources will be stored within your document as well as your master list.